Hi, I'm Becca Schuler. I teach math and science at Laurel Tree Charter School, which is a K-12 charter in Arcata, California. My name is Andrew Sindel. I'm a second year teacher at Levi Newton High School, and that's up in the Eastern Sierras in California. My name is Matt Lee. I'm a second year ELA teacher at Santiago High School. I'm Gonzalez. I'm a teacher here at Lenox Academy in Inglewood, California. My name is Art Laredo, and I'm currently an English teacher at Santiago High School in Garden Grove, California. Hi, so my name is Kate Steeper, and I teach chemistry and life science at Lenox Math, Science, and Technology Academy. My name is Brayden Ballantyne, and I attended the Teacher Leadership Academy this past summer up in Sacramento. The, the most amazing thing for me was being in, um, a secondary teacher, so I teach middle school and high school, and then I'm usually at conferences that are math or science related, and having everyone from every discipline was amazing. I just saw wonderful things that people were doing in their classroom, and it was super inspiring. As a new teacher, you have a ton of questions, although there are a lot of things that you need advice on, and you make a ton of mistakes. So to be in a room with, with maybe 10 other their actual teachers of the year, these veterans, um, who are all there to actually help you out, um, it's, it's a very fortunate experience. It gave me a lot of confidence this year. So the thing that I appreciated most was all of the amazing teachers that I got to meet and interact with. Not only did I get to talk with them at the actual event and exchange awesome ideas, but I kept in contact with them and they helped me throughout the course of this last year. First time going to attending the Summer Institute was an amazing experience. Meeting teachers that um, are willing to share things that are working in their classroom that's innovative, that's different, that's not traditional. Being able to be in a room full of experts. What I appreciated most about the TLA experience was just being able to have the opportunity to be there um, and to hear the presentations from veteran teachers who were Carlson Academy honorees. I mean, these teachers are the best of the best. So having the opportunity to talk with them and share with them and ask them questions, um, it really was an invaluable experience for me. I'm currently in my second year of teaching and I will say that this year has been going much, much smoother and I credit a lot of that to the help that not only John Wynn has given me, but all the teachers that I met at the Teacher Leadership Academy. I had a lot of mentor teachers um, that were really supportive. I learned a lot of new techniques. Um, Overall, it was totally worth the time. It was worth the drive. I, I would absolutely do it again. It's really caused me to reflect on my own teaching practices. What would Marlene do to approach this writing task? Or how would Brian integrate some kinesthetic learning activities to really improve engagement for, for this lesson? Or how would Sherry integrate technology to prepare these students for 21st century learning? I met John Wynn, who was at the Teacher Leadership Academy, and he is well known for doing an amazing job with his AP Calculus class. And I got to talk with him, and he basically gave me all of his resources that he's gone through, what is it, like five or six amazing teachers that he has culminated into one curriculum, and he just handed that over to me. And it wasn't just that, it was the fact that he was always there to talk me through, oh, this is how you do this lesson, this is a question that you might need to be careful of. But he was consistently meeting with me every two weeks or so, and just having him as a great resource, that just impacted my AP Calculus class to make it that much more awesome. It's just really inspiring to see what people can do with the with what they have in their classrooms and the students that they have, and it made me feel really connected that I have that too. One of the biggest things that impacted me was actually how to um, use movement in, to your classroom experience and engage students in a different way where they're actually part of the learning experience instead of just direct instruction. One of the things that I noticed that they all seemed to have in common was it was a common trait and, and it was just pure passion uh, for what they did. They genuinely loved what they did. They took time out of their own summers to help one another and to help new teachers, uh, to, to influence that new generation of students as well. I had never really attended a professional development experience like, uh, like the Carlson Academy before, so I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. I kind of got a rein, uh, like a reinforcement um, for my outlook on teaching, and 
I, I gained a source of motivation and inspiration from these teachers, from these honorees who presented. I don't really know what I expected uh, when when Sherry Zarati told me about it. I guess I expected to to be talked to a lot. Like we were just going into these classes and we were just going to learn about the philosophy of teaching or something. Um, but it was totally different. I act we actually got the opposite of that. We got strategies. We learned from one another. And I think that's something that not only benefited the new teachers, but it also benefited the, the veteran teachers as well, because those veteran teachers also, uh, from what I heard, they also tried some new things. I expected it to be more of like curriculum training, but I was really um, actually blown away with how well uh, the collabor collaboration was between the um, mentors and also for us trainees who are experiencing this for the first time. It far exceeded my expectations. Um, it was really wonderful to just mix with people that were so enthusiastic about teaching and I love to do it in the summer when we have more time to think things through because when we're all teaching it's really hard um, to separate out the long-term things so in the summer it's great to look back at people reflecting on their practice and, and getting excited about their next year so that was really fun. I was expecting it to be a lot more passive where you sit on the lectures and occasionally there's some kind of activity. Um, with this conference, it was really active. Um, there was lots of activities, there was lots of moving around. I liked the fact that it was um, a small group of teachers and mentor teachers there. Um, and there was a range of disciplines so that um, I wasn't um, just exposed to, like I teach science, I wasn't just exposed to ideas in science, um, but also sort of how to tackle literacy issues or um, engagement issues. Um, there's lots of stuff on hooks. I, I just really enjoyed it. And I didn't realize that it was going to be a year-long program where I was going to continuously meet with that awesome teacher or teachers over the course of the year to make sure I was doing what I need to be doing and becoming a better teacher. A lot of the strategies that we learned um, in the summer, I, I found myself implementing those in my own classroom. I've been trying to be a lot more mindful of making sure that I get my students up and moving around um, with every single lesson. I'm not always successful, but I, I definitely um, keep that in mind. Every time I go to something where there's really excellent teachers, I always up my game. I learn something that I'm implementing in my class every time and I'm making it feel like it's making me a better teacher. It's probably one of the best professional developments I've ever attended because it was not only um, talking about curriculum, but talking about some amazing teachers that have great ideas. First off, it was fantastic. Um, as a trial run, I thought that it went very, very smooth. Um, and I know that I benefited greatly, as I'm sure the other new teachers did. I, I feel like we just scraped the top, like we just got the like just a barely a taste of what is amazing behind it. I was really happy with the overall experience. I thought it was awesome. Um, if anything, I'd like to do more conferences because um, I just learned so much. So um, not necessarily a longer conference, but more conferences without the year, I would, I would absolutely go to them. Um, so it was really enjoyable and I, I look forward to uh, seeing everybody again. Let's make this thing big and get as many teachers uh, in there as we can.